Hello YouTubers, this is RC Tech Pro Flying, giving you a little education on what I've done with the batteries. Um, show you how I kind of opened it up and uh, this one is my batteries that went bad on the Solo. <clears throat> so it's not that easy to open up, but I'll show you without destroying the case what I've done. So generally I've taken a screwdriver with a thin tip at the end. And generally what I've, what I've done to open it up is basically just keep prying to the side, just twist it. Um, be extremely very careful when uh, prying this that the that the tip does not hit the cell of the battery. Because if it does, what happen is uh, you can have an explosion there. I'll show you. Looks like once I've done that, you have to kind of play around with it because what they've done is it's this is a case made to be snapped together. But they actually added glue so it wouldn't come apart. So once I got it apart, okay, I see I wanted to really save the case because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. So we've got the case separated. Um, this was inside. This strip here goes basically to protect the uh, back of the circuit board. And then there's your port, your power port right here. And then you have your, uh, your balance information port here. So... And then here's your start button here, um, which obviously uh, gives you LEDs here, shows you the life of the battery. So this battery particularly, the, one of the things I, I was wanting to do for a while is to see what happens if, let's say, these batteries are you know, no longer available or right now they're not making them no more. So I want to be able to have a backup and be able to use a regular LiPo battery with uh, with the solo and also be able to see the data off of the uh, the, the uh, four cells so 4s battery this particular battery that I'm going to be using as example is a uh, here we go this is a 14.8 which is a 4s battery um, a 25c at uh, 4,000 milliwatt amps um, now the solo battery um, is a 5200 uh, milliamp hour battery, okay, which gives you more flight time. Now the biggest problem that I found was that when you start going in higher amperages, um, what happens is that the batteries get bigger and hard to fit in this case. So I decided one of the most important things after dissembling this, when it came off of here, I'm going to show you one of the things that when you do open up your battery, you're going to find a couple of things on here. So, um, this particular extra wire is a is a um, a heat sensor. So what it does is this. Let me see if I can find out. It was actually laying. Actually, it was this side here. It's like that. So this sensor was actually laying inside here, and it was actually they put some some type of glue on here. Um, there it is right there, if you notice. Let's see if I can try to focus in on that. And it's kind of right here. This is where they have they had it glued. And what that does is detects the battery heat. I'm assuming if it overcharges and the battery, the cell's getting hot, it probably shuts down so it won't keep charging and catch fire. So um, for me to determine to be able to use, this is the, uh, the balance port. Um, the actual terminal for the balance uh, cable. So I tried to figure, well, let me see. This is usually smaller than your normal one. Your normal cell battery, um, your LiPo batteries usually have a larger one like this. This is a really big one, okay? And um, I'm going to show you what I've done. Uh, I purchased a few of these small, um, these are micro JST um, you're using basically for the PixHawk, if you're using them for like, let's say telemetry radios, um, these are really small, but I'm going to use, I'm going to show you, I don't have, I just ordered some, uh, larger ones like this one so that I can convert it and actually have one in so I can actually use it with my regular balancing charger. So how do we figure out how to know where the actual voltages are? Now you're going to go into different stages. So what I did was set your, your multimeter. 
if you have one watch the voltages if you if you've opened this up if you've opened it or or this is now the first time seeing the inside of a battery uh, from the solo this let's see if I can focus in here a little bit this particular one right here um, is your ground this is your ground wire um, then it goes down and it shows you I've kind of made a scale on here on my paper so on my paper I have and then I'll show you the voltage readings okay so based on this plug okay you're gonna have you take your ground you're gonna measure it you're gonna find out the uh, number four um, number four plug is gonna give you four volts this is your first cell number three is going to give you your um, second cell, third cell, number 12 volts, and then 16 cell, uh, 16, which is one, two, three, and four. These are the numbers. So one is 16 volts at your uh, four cell, three cell, number two, uh, pin number three is eight volts, and pin number four is uh, your first cell. Okay, so. I'm going to have to put this like, uh, camera here on charge just a second, so kind of watch the meter here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my ground Okay, on the cell. So you're going to see, it's going to say, let's see if I can go over here so you can see it. All right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and touch here. There's four volts. Second one, eight. Third one, 12. That's your third, that's an S3. And then your S4, which gives you a 16 volts, is your first pin. So that's how I was able to figure out where the positions are on the battery. Um, I'm gonna be just right back because I've gotta put the this camera on charge and I'll continue with this video.